Hey guys, welcome back to Geeks Reborn. I'm Jonathan. I'm Josh. And we're just here to give you a few of our thoughts on the second episode of The Walking Dead. Yeah. So it came out a few days ago, but we're just getting to it now. We just want to give you what we thought about it. And so right off the bat, it was obviously, it went away from the initial storyline of Rick and all uh, their members of the, the group and more focused on uh, Carol and Morgan. Yeah, so... Uh, last week, we did a live reaction to that crazy, crazy... Fantastic first and episode. And fantastic yeah. season premiere. And uh, if you guys want to check out uh, our uh, reaction to all those murders by Negan, please do so below. Uh, however, this episode is a little more peaceful, yeah. a little more calm. More methodical. Yeah. We're introduced to a new character. New character. And I love this character, I have to say. Or two new characters, maybe Shiva counts as well. <laughs> Along with King Ezekiel. King Ezekiel. And I just love that, that part where uh, Morgan is... Uh, bringing in Carol to meet King Ezekiel inside the theater. Inside the theater, and you know he almost pa he's pausing when she's asking all these questions. What's his name? And he's like King Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> and she has no idea what to expect. Yeah, but she plays along. Yeah. So this is more or less uh, Carol is kind of brought back to health, and uh, and it's done within the realm of the that new community that King Ezekiel runs, the kingdom. Is that what it's? Yeah, it's called the kingdom. Kingdom. And so uh, she obviously is then introduced to them. Yeah. And she more or less, I wouldn't say patronizes them. Oh, well, maybe she does kind of in a sense. She just she just goes along with what he says. She just gives that old shucks kind of routine. She does. She, she mentions to Morgan that they don't know what, what's out there. Right. They're living in a fantasy world. She's ready to go out. So she's... She knows that she's not healthy enough to leave the place as of yet. But as but soon as she gets it, she wants out. She's out. She tells him. And you'll see there's like a couple of scenes where she's grabbing. She steals a knife. She steals this. And she's hiding it all under her blankets in the wheelchair that she has going. Right. And you see that right when, uh, during the conversation, King Ezekiel offers her fruit. Yeah. And she doesn't want to take it. She does not want to take it. And so you could tell right away... How she, Everybody. how yeah. she uh, acts within that. Yeah, no, that was a really like he tried a couple of times, and she said, "Oh, if it was chocolate, I would take it." And that just that just just go back to last year when uh, she was uh, talking about chocolate, her love for chocolate. But uh, yeah. yeah, what I did like about the episode at the beginning was that when Carol was being was under attack by the zombies. There was flashes where the zombie face would turn into a human face, back yeah. and forth. I thought that was really well done. Very, yeah, no, it looked like Carol very... was almost in between the line of, in like a, kind of like that line of reality yeah. and non-reality almost. Yeah, and that, it, it re they really showed it well there. Right. And so then they also had kind of a sub-story besides Carol where... We see Morgan helping Ezekiel and his helper Richard, as well as the younger character that were introduced to Ben. Yes. And where they're also under the thumb of Negan and the Saviors, and they have to pay. It's kept a secret here, so it's King Ezekiel doesn't want his right. people to know this. But we also see how <laughs> his, member, his member Richard wants to fight them. And by the way of them uh, feeding the pigs to the... or feeding pig zombies. Yeah, so you know... Maybe the my cousin will stomach ache and he's happy with that. Or maybe one of uh, Negan's men is going to turn into a zombie and he's happy with that too. Absolutely. Right? So yeah, that was an interesting story. <laughs> this all comes around together that it, you know the saviors are affecting everyone here. So you know, uh, I think uh, at some point we're going to see Alexandria and uh, uh, the kingdom have uh, a little get together because they need to. Uh, formulate a plan to uh, get Negan. And also with that, we have Ezekiel who asks uh, Morgan to teach Ben how to fight. How to fight, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, like, uh, that kind of big brother type of uh, role that, that Morgan was playing there, how he did, he had a kind of, he chose a path of peace, but yet he was teaching Ben how to fight. Yeah. And cut and toward a violent path almost, and you could see how it was affecting him almost. 
he knows he needs to know how to in this, in this world, right? Uh, what about Shiva? Yeah, that's an interesting... Uh... So I have to give props to AMC. Uh, you know, they did a pretty good job with uh, the special effects here. You know, based... Okay, well, we know that The Walking Dead does make a lot of money. But based on a TV budget and, you know, the special effects, I did like the fact that they used animatronics. So they had an animatronic tiger, and then they did the CGI over it. And I, okay, I'm not gonna say it's it's not flawless. I did, you know, have my little, you know, every once in a while when I was watching, I was like, ah, that looks a little fake, but not bad. Yeah, not and bad. I like the story between Shiva and Ezekiel when he uh, mentions it in that uh, last kind of that uh, near the end of the he episode opens with up. Carol. He yeah, opens he opens up, up and he tells her everything. Right. All right. It's interesting the way he does that. And uh, it's almost as if you know he's. He's just bearing it all to her because he knows that she's different from the others. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's been wanting to get that off of his back. Yeah, and exactly. And it's interesting how he mentions her to embrace the contradiction that she's going to have to, you know, maybe choose a different path in order to survive. Yeah. And uh, I like that. And, you know, it shows at the ending how she, uh, she kind of stays, but... She doesn't stay within that kingdom. She stays almost on the outskirts, just outside of it, when she enters that house. And then there's the flag. So right. the flag, we're talking about the mailbox. Where Morgan is working on it from the beginning of the episode to the end. Yeah. And how he puts, he puts the flag down at the end. Yeah, a little red flag. Yeah. And so we're thinking that's a signal. Absolutely. To, uh, if Rick passes by, to, the, to know that Carol's fine. Yeah. This is where she should be. So overall, I think this was a strong episode. You know, they wanted to get that second storyline out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it really gears up to that third episode where we get back to, I guess, oh. uh, the the saviors and the and uh, the, Rick and the other members. I saw the preview for next weekend. Oh, my God. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our little review, we're going to be doing them weekly. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just watch... Like, like, comment, like, and subscribe. And subscribe. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Bye.